Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our Python series. In this lecture, we're going to be learning conditional statements. Now, the core concept of conditional statements is an if and else case. If something is happening, we want something to happen. Otherwise, we have an else case where something else happens. While that may seem confusing, let's go ahead and take a practical example. Let's say it's raining outside. If it's raining, I'm going to take an umbrella. If it's not raining, I'll wear shorts. Something as straightforward as that basically defines what a conditional statement is. You have the concept of true and false, and if something is true, the if code will run. Otherwise, if that statement is false, then the false code will run. So let's go ahead and give a quick example of how if statements work. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and say if five greater than three. Okay. So notice how I used these parentheses. And then inside of that, I put a statement. This statement has to result to either true or false. Okay. It has to give me some sort of output, which is a Boolean value, either true or false. If five is greater than three colon, now I'm going to hit enter and it gives me the next line. So if this statement five greater than three is true, I want something to happen. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to print, uh, hello. Okay. That's perfect. Hit enter and I get hello. So this is the core foundation of conditional statements. If this statement five greater than three is true, I want to print out hello. What if this condition is not true though? What if we put a false condition? I'm going to go ahead and say, if, um, I don't know, three is less than two. Obviously it's not colon. Then I want to say print hello. Okay. Otherwise, so I'm going to shift tab. So notice how the, our cursor right now was at print. If you hit shift tab on your keyboard, you go back. Okay. We want to go back one statement and we want to say else. So if this condition three less than two is not true, then I'm going to print out the condition was not true. Okay. And now I get the condition was not true. So one thing I want you guys to really notice right over here is that Python is very dependent on where you type your code. Your if and else statements have to be on the same line that shows that this if and this else are together. They're one block of code. And then the functions for each if and the function for each else has to be one tab to the right or four spaces, whatever you guys choose. So if three is less than two tab print hello else. And then we have this gap over here, print the condition was not true. That's very, very important. Okay. So now continuing on these conditional statements have operators. Okay. We have greater than we have less than there's also various relational operators in Python. I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you a couple of them. So we have three greater than or equal to two. Okay. That's true. We have three less than or equal to two. That's going to be false. We have three equal to equal to three. Okay. So when you're comparing objects in Python, for example, it could be variables. You could be comparing numbers. You could be comparing strings. You use the double equal to sign. I know what you guys are thinking. What if you use a single equal to sign? What if you say five equal to three? What happens then we get an error. Python uses the single equal to sign to assign a value. When we say a variable name, name and equal to Avi, we assign the value Avi to the variable name. But if you want to compare two values, if you want to compare a number to another number, then we have to say three, two equal twos, and then any number two. Okay. And the last relational operator is not equal to. If you want to check if two things are not equal to each other, we use an exclamation mark and then an equal to sign. So three, not equal to two, we get true. So just to quickly recap on the six relational operators, you have greater than you have less than you have greater than equal to you have less than equal to you have equal to equal to, which is basically compared to, and then we have not equal to. So these are your six relational operators. And the last thing I want to cover in this lecture is elif. Say we have um, a number and we have different ranges. I'm going to go ahead and create an age variable, set this equal to 16. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and say, if my age is less than 13, if my age is less than 13, I'm going to say print out you are young. Okay. Now I want to create a condition for when my age is between 13 and 18. Okay. Right now, all we know is if and else that's where elif comes in. Elif basically acts as another if statement. 
Elif stands for else if. So I'm going to go ahead and say Elif, age greater than or equal to 13, and, okay? So this is very key. This and basically means we're combining both conditions together. If, grade is, if age is greater than or equal to 13 and age is less than 18, I'm going to go ahead and say print you are a teenager, okay? And then else, I'm going to go ahead and say print you are an adult. Okay, so quick thing to know over here, guys. Remember, just look at this placement of the if, elf, and else. They're all in one line. And then the functions, they're all in one line. Make sure yours look exactly the same. Otherwise, you will get an error. And make sure that you have your colons after your if and elf. Most people forget to do that. Hit enter, and I'm going to get you are a teenager. So in conditional statements, you also have this concept of ands and ors. Ands basically combine both conditional statements. If I say if five is greater than three, and so if five is greater than three, and two is greater than one, um, print hi, I'm going to get hi, because both of these conditions return true. However, with or, what you can do is say, if five is greater than three, and two is less than one, which is false, print hi, we're still going to get hi, because if five is greater than three, oh, I'm sorry, I used and. Um, okay, so if five is greater than three, I'm going to make this or, and print hi, we're still going to get hi because of the or condition. What or does is it basically checks both conditions, and if one of them is true, just one has to be true, then it will result the entire condition to be true. So there's two, two main sort of these comparators, and an or, and make sure that both of the conditions are true, or just checks to see if one of them is true. All right, so let's do a quick recap of conditional statements. First of all, there's if and else. If some condition is true, perform a function. Else, which is basically the backup option, do, do another function. You have six different um, relational operators, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, compared to, and not equal to, okay? Those are your six relational operators. Elif basically allows you to have multiple if statements. You can say if, then elif, 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 and then always have a backup option else, okay? And then last but not least, we touch base on and and or, and make sure that both conditions you're comparing are true, and or make sure that at least one of them is true for the entire condition to be true. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Hopefully conditional statements made sense to you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.